Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing. It is Saturday, September 24th. It's about 11.45 a.m. And I just got back to the dock and I want to give you guys a report. Before I do that though, don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So, um, how was fishing today? It was pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Um, let's just say I left the dock at 7 a.m. Uh, we are back. Uh, we got back to the dock probably about 11.15. Limited out. So it was a great day. And what was nice about today was... If you've been watching my posts, uh, my videos, I've been fishing offshore the last few weeks, um, looking for sa salmon and uh, steelhead way out in 300 plus feet of water. And today we did something a little different. Today, um, left the marina and noticed much cooler water. We've had a bunch of north wind during the week and I expected a lot colder water. So we actually set up at about 100 feet of water and started trolling along the famous drop by Bluffers Park Marina. And we got into them good. Uh, and, you know, I'd say, you know, probably the first uh, seven or eight bites were all salmon. Uh, you know, some nice two-year-olds, including some big two-year-olds. Uh, you'll probably see in the picture I posted on the front here, there was uh, some nice two-year-olds. And uh, also some one-year-olds. And then later on, as the day progressed, we got into some steelhead. And we got a whole bunch of steelhead. So the guys ended up keeping, I think, four steelhead um, and uh, six, uh, six salmon. But... Uh, Basically, we uh, we must have released uh, half a dozen fish. We must have lost a whole bunch of fish. So it was a really good day. And we basically trolled from 100 feet of water to about 200 feet of water. Just kind of doing some circles around there between Bluffers and the fil water filtration plant. And then back to Bluffers. And actually a little bit east of Bluffers. And we still got, I think, our last two or three bites were uh, steelhead right east of the Bluffers Park Marina. So real good day. So what worked now? What worked was, I'd say I'd start with... Uh, you know, today I was running a six rod spread, two riggers, four long lines. I did not bother with dipsy divers. Some of you might be going like, what are you doing, Mark? I personally find when I'm fishing this time of year, I don't find the dipsies do a whole lot. So when I'm only running six rods, I will go with more long lines and take the dipsies out of the spread. So for me today, um, the riggers had spoons with sliders. Um, the spoons were, I was running hot fish spoons. They're, uh, they're black dot and they're green dot. And then on the sliders, I had orange dot spoons, and uh, those were fantastic. On the long lines, I had a six color out with, uh, it's almost like an orange jean spoon that I had custom painted myself. I had a seven color out with a hot fish um, mag uh, green dots with, uh, with glow and UV. And then I had a 10 color out with a green jeans like UV that I painted up myself. And then the last rod that didn't do a damn thing was I had a 200 weight of steel out with a um, Pro Troll and Fly. I did not take a bite on flies. Today was everything was spoons. Uh, I, but like I said, we did we did really really well. Um, the water uh, I found as you started getting closer to Toronto or you know closer to the filtration plant started getting cold. Uh, you know into the you know the mid to low 40s down 50 feet. Whereas when you get in front of the marina and east of the marina, that same stretch of water, but in front of the marina. You know, call it in 160, 170 feet of water was actually 55 degrees, so much warmer water, and that's where all the bites were coming from. So, anyways, that's the that's the day overall. It was a good day of fishing, except I got to share with you guys. Um, you know, had a had a small uh, small boat. I want to say it was a Springbok um, 19.6, and I know that because I used to own a Springbok, uh, and uh, this one was a center console, and uh, deliberately turned at the back of my boat. Luckily, the guys I had with me were able to rip the lines in really, really quick. But even after trying to wave the guy off, he just kept coming at me, coming at me. Really uncalled for. Um, you know, guys, please give us space if we're running a lot of lines out there. It's super helpful. No one wants to lose their lines. I know you guys don't want to use, lose your lines. I don't want to lose my lines. It was real close today. If it wasn't for my, my, my guests trying to help me rip the lines in, we'd have for sure had an, a massive tangle. But anyways, water on the bridge. That's passed. Frustrating, but, uh, you know, it worked out, worked out okay. I'm back at the dock. Going to clean the boat. Go for some uh, go for some lunch with my buddy John, and then when I gotta get out this afternoon. Anyways, talk to you guys later, and have a great day, and hopefully you can get out in the water. See ya, bye.